हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सुगंध बाला सिंह फ्रॉम यस कॉन्वेंट सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल सौर मऊ सुल्तानपुर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द रिवीजन ऑफ बायोलॉजी पोर्शन ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ सो द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ बायोलॉजी इज लाइफ प्रोसेसेस स्टूडेंट्स लाइफ प्रोसेसेस मींस द प्रोसेस व्हिच इज मेंटेन द all activity of the body and the necessary for the life is called life processes students there are many processes performed in our body but all processes are not necessary for life there are mainly four processes which is play an important role in survival of an any organism that is nutrition second respiration third transportation and fourth excretion students some processes are necessary but not play an important role in the life processes like reproduction growth etc students reproduction or growth aisa nahi hai ki agar koi organism apni life mein reproduction nahi karta hai तो वो उसकी लाइफ वो अलाइव नहीं रहेगा वो जिंदा नहीं रहेगा या फिर अगर उसमें ग्रोथ नहीं होती है उसकी ग्रोथ रुक गई है स्टॉप हो गई है वो जिंदा नहीं रहेगा जिंदा रहने के लिए अलाइव रहने के लिए मेन चार प्रोसेसेस हैं न्यूट्रिशन रेस्पिरेशन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड एक्सक्रीशन स्टूडेंट्स न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन मीन्स obtain the nutrients from food is called nutrition nutrition the term nutrition means obtain the nutrients from food is called nutrition and nutrients means carbohydrate protein vitamins lipids fats etc students vitamins and minerals are not necessary for digestion means it is always occur in simplest form which is assimilate in our cell but the carbohydrate protein and fat are necessary the digestion in these nutrients okay in nutrition there are two types of nutrition autotroph nutrition and heterotroph nutrition first is autotrophic nutrition nutrition and second is heterotrophic nutrition students autotrophic nutri nutrition means organism produce their own food by the help of inorganic materials like water and and prepare own food without any support or without any help of other organism and the example of autotrophic nutrition is plants and algae example of autotrophic nutrition in plant and algae and heterotrophic nutrition in the in this type of nutritions organism depend on each other on other organism for food directly or indirectly it means in this process the organism are totally depend or, uh, on other organism and the example of heterotrophic nutrition is amoeba amoeba animals <coughs> animals and human beings and human beings 
so students now we will explain the autotrophic nutrition in plants means you can say the nutrition in plants nutrition in plants nutrition in plants is done by the help of photosynthesis in the process of photosynthesis plant takes inorganic matter like water and carbon dioxide which is occur in simplest form and converted it into glucose which is complex form glucose in complex form and in the photosynthesis process plant sorry plant takes carbon dioxide means six molecules of carbon dioxide and 12 molecules of h2o and the presence of chlorophyll presence of chlorophyll and sunlight chlorophyll and sunlight and it is converted into glucose c6 h12 o6 plus oxygen okay students students chlorophyll in plants leaf is a site for photosynthesis and in leaf mesophyll cells are present in mesophyll cells chloroplast are present and chloroplast have two side stroma and grana part students stroma is responsible for dark reaction and grana is responsible for light reaction the process of photosynthesis completed uh, with two step first is light reaction and second is dark reaction in light reaction plants in light reaction chloro uh, in part atp and nadps2 are produced and with the help of atp and nadp2 in stroma part the glucose are formed so students chlorophyll always present in grana part grana part means the single unit of uh, grana is called thylakoid and the group of five unit of thylakoid is called grana so students this equation is represent the photosynthesis in plant and the photosynthesis in plants is done in four steps in four steps first is first is absorption of solar light first means absorption of solar energy solar energy by chlorophyll by sorry by <coughs> chloro and second is the solar energy is converted into chemical energy it means conversion of conversion of chemical energy chemical sorry conversion of solar energy of solar energy energy in chemical energy in chemical energy and third step is splitting of hydrogen splitting of 
height splitting of water splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen and last step reduction of carbon dioxide and last fourth step a reduction of carbon dioxide and converted into glucose students in plants carbohydrates are stored in the starch form because in the starch form plants capable to assimilate the glucose and in human beings carbohydrates are converted into glycogen so in this process photo, in this photosynthesis process plant convert, uh, converted in organic matter to glucose or complex form it is called photosynthesis and next we will discuss the heterotrophic nutrition next topic is hetero hetero trophic nutrition students i have earlier told you the plant the organism which is depend and other organism for food directly or indirectly is called heterotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition are three type heterotrophic nutrition are three type first number parasitic nutrition are first first saprophytic nutrition saprophytic nutrition and second one is parasitic nutrition parasitic nutrition and third one is holozoic nutrition and third one is holozoic nutrition students in saprophytic nutrition organism obtain their food from dead decaying matter means dead decay from dead decaying matters organism obtain their food and the example of saprophytic nutrition is the organism bacteria bacteria and fungi bacteria and fungi the students organism which obtain their food from dead decaying matters are also known as detritus organism points should be remember organism that obtain their old food old food from dead decaying matter that is called detritus organism so here bacteria and fungi are also called as detritus organism or you can say scavenger of earth prithvi ka safai karmi scavenger of earth and decomposers of earth and parasitic nutrition in this type of nutrition organism stay for long time of other host or other organism without killing them that is called parasitic nutrition students 
जैसे कोई लायन किसी डियर या किसी रेबिट किसी खरगोश को किल करके वो अगर उसको उससे अपना फूड ऑप्टेन करता है तो ये पैरासाइटिक न्यूट्रिशन नहीं होगा ठीक है न्यूट्रिशन मीन्स वो ऑर्गेनिज्म दूसरे ऑर्गेनिज्म के होस्ट पर लंबे टाइम तक स्टे करता हो और इसका एक एक्सेप्शन मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर नोन एज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पैरासाइटिक न्यूट्रिशन इज मॉस्कीटो ऑल्सो बट मॉस्कीटो पैरासाइटिक पैरासाइट नहीं है क्योंकि वो होस्ट पर किसी ऑर्गेनिज्म की बॉडी पर स्टे नहीं करता है तो इन दिस न्यूट्रिशन ऑर्गेनिज्म स्टे फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम दैट इज कॉल्ड पैरास एंड पैरासाइटिक न्यूट्रिशन देर आर टू टाइप एक्टो पैरासाइटिक एंड एंडो पैरासाइटिक एक्टो पैरासाइटिक मीन पैरासाइट दो स्टेज एक्सटर्नल पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी दैट इज कॉल्ड एक्टो पैरासाइट एंड एंडो पैरासाइट दैस लिवस इन इन साइड ऑफ द बॉडी दैट इज कॉल्ड एंडो पैरासाइट एक्टो पैरासाइट इन एक्टो पैरासाइट लाइस जू it is the example of ectoparasite and tapeworm liver fluke it is the example of endoparasite so the example of ecto and endo lies tapeworm tapeworm etc and the third one is holozoic nutrition in holozoic nutrition this nutrition is completed within four steps first is ingestion of food this type of nutrition is completed in four steps first number ingestion of food ingestion of food means intake the food is called intake the food in mouth is called ingestion of food and second step is digestion of food in digestion of food the complex molecules the large and complex molecules is converted into uh, simplex and smallest molecules is called digestion means in this process carbohydrate converted into glucose protein converted into amino acid and lipids converted into glycerol this process is called digestion and next assimilation next process adsorption by the digestion of nutrients the villi are present in the uh, finger like projection in the presence of the small intestine walls which is absorb the nutrients and transport to the blood and assimilation fourth point is assimilation of nutrients by the help of blood nutrients transported to each and every cell and assimilate the cell that process is called assimilation of food so students in next video lecture we will discuss about digestive system in human being thank you have a nice day